So we've got to be extremely concerned. Whatever the cause is, whoever is right about whether China is strong or weak, and, and as I said, um, there's a lot that we can say on this, both sides. But the point is, China is dangerous right now and becoming even more so. Thirteen billion dollar targets. Seventy-nine percent fuel efficiency. 5,400 degree temperatures. China tests most dangerous hypersonic weapon. America's $13 billion aircraft carriers have only one thing to fear, and that's China's new hypersonic weapons. China claims these weapons can destroy the massive floating air bases, which would transport American forces tasked with protecting Taiwan as China rips the country apart in an increasingly likely war. The explosiveness and impact of a war between China and Taiwan could be similar to that of the Russia-Ukraine war, if not more, because this time the U.S. could get directly involved. China knows this, and this is why the country continues to work tirelessly in making its already invincible hypersonic weapons even more invincible. And, tasking as that may sound, Chinese researchers are already making it happen in the form of a new hypersonic engine that boasts a fuel efficiency of 79% as it heats up to 5400 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures. That's half the temperature of the surface of the sun. With this engine, China's hypersonic missiles can travel nearly twice as far to strike targets anywhere in the world. To understand the secret and genius behind such an engine, it's time for a closer look at it. Chinese Engine A team of military researchers in South China, led by Associate Professor Ma Likun, is in the spotlight for significantly increasing the efficiency of a Chinese air-breathing engine that uses solid-state fuel for hypersonic flight. The result would be increased operational range for whatever hypersonic weapon the engine powers. This revolutionary engine works its wonder after the weapon is already cruising at hypersonic speeds by slowing the speed of incoming fresh air down to subsonic speeds before the air enters into the engine's combustion chamber. And the slower the air moves through the engine, the more thoroughly the fuel burns. The more thoroughly the fuel burns, the more energy it produces and therefore the longer the weapon flies. Supporting this increased energy claim was the temperature inside the team's prototype engine, which reached over 5400 degrees Fahrenheit, 50% higher than in a standard scramjet. According to a paper published in the peer-reviewed Journal of Solid Rocket Technology, the engine, during a ground test that simulated a flight at an altitude of 15.5 miles at Mach 6 speeds, achieved a remarkable fuel efficiency of 79%. This is almost double the fuel efficiency of a traditional scramjet engine working in similar conditions. However, there were some challenges. The team reported that shock waves, which are required, can cause heat damage in the fuel injectors, affecting engine reusability. Another challenge is that it was extremely difficult to control the combustion of solid-state fuel. That's because feeding fuel powders into the combustion chamber and mixing them with fresh air efficiently involves many sophisticated physical processes, some of which generally remain poorly understood. This doesn't mean it isn't worth a try, though, because solid-state fuel and the engines it powers come with numerous advantages, such as simple engine structure, high-volume specific impulse, high flame stability, and the potential to work at a wide speed range. Militaries usually prefer solid fuel to liquid for ease of transportation and storage. With such easy-to-use fuel in the tank of the new Chinese engine, the question of how much of an edge this would give China over the opposition rests on how unique the range-boosting technology is to China. And according to Ma's team, there's been no report on similar technology. So China is full speed ahead in developing this engine and using it to power hypersonic missiles, particularly the YJ-21 Eagle Strike missile. 
Known as the Carrier Killer, the YJ-21 is a hypersonic missile whose introduction in November 2022 marked a big step in China's effort to tilt the balance of naval power in its favor. The YJ-21 is believed to be able to strike targets 932 miles away and travel at speeds reaching Mach 10, twice faster than the Mach 5 threshold required to classify a missile as hypersonic. At these speeds, the YJ-21 could pose serious threats to American carriers, even with the novel Aegis Combat System installed. The Aegis Combat System is an advanced combat battle management system consisting of radars and interceptor missiles. It is the ultimate protector of American carriers and escort ships, but even it might have difficulty against China's YJ-21, which moves so fast it could punch the hole through a flight deck of an aircraft carrier before it's even spotted. But while China's new engine-based technology discussed earlier could give the YJ-21 an edge when it comes to range, its speed, destruction, and so on can still be very much rivaled, if not surpassed, when compared to its arch-rivals, the American hypersonic missiles. American Hypersonic Missiles while countries like China and also Russia already have hypersonic missiles in operation, the U.S. is yet to field one. However, there is no shortage of programs working to change that. Of at least eight of these programs, three have managed to stand out and make significant progress. These include the programs building the AGM-183A, the Hypersonic Air Breathing Weapon Concept, or HAWK for short, and the Hypersonic Attack Cruise Missile, HACM for short. AGM-183A The AGM-183ARRW is a hypersonic glide missile being developed by the largest defense contractor on the planet, Lockheed Martin, after the company received a $450 million contract from the U.S. Air Force. The missile is expected to have a top speed exceeding Mach 20, a maximum operational range of over 1,000 miles, and unprecedented lethality all at a unit cost of 15 to 18 million dollars. The AGM-183 is currently undergoing tests at the Edwards Air Force Base in California. Major successes came on May 14, 2022, when the missile demonstrated separation from the B-52H Stratofortress bomber. Its booster burned for the expected duration, and then the missile accelerated to hypersonic speeds. Hawk The Hawk unlike all previously mentioned hypersonic missiles, is no missile at all. It's more like a hypersonic bullet, a kinetic energy weapon without an explosive warhead. Hawk is a scramjet-powered, air-launched hypersonic weapon project of the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA for short. The Hawk has had three flight tests so far, the third of which happened on July 18, 2022. In this test, the weapon was able to fly at Mach 5 plus speeds at an altitude greater than 60,000 feet. The weapon has a reported maximum operational range of 350 miles, making it probably the farthest traveling bullet in history. Hackem the Hackam is the resulting scramjet-based hypersonic weapon from a joint project between the U.S. and Australia. To build the Hackam, the U.S. Air Force awarded three contracts in June of 2021 to Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Raytheon Technologies for preliminary designs. Fifteen months later, in September 2022, the Air Force crowned the offering from Raytheon Technologies, earning the company, along with partner Northrop Grumman, a $985 million contract to develop the actual Hackam missile. The missile's exact specification is yet to be publicized, but it is expected to travel well faster than Mach 8. Despite these remarkable numbers, it is important to remember that the U.S. is still playing catch-up in the hypersonic missile race. China has the lead in actual operation, and in terms of the number of hypersonic missile varieties, the country, like the U.S., isn't lacking. China's Hypersonic Missiles China has two weapons that can be referred to as poster hypersonic missiles for the country. These are the Dongfeng-17 and the Xingkong-2. Dongfeng-17 the Dongfeng-17, short form DF-17, can be seen as the designated launch vehicle for the actual missile known as the DFZF. 
Both the DF-17 and DFZF work hand in hand and are like two pieces of a two-piece puzzle. In fact, they were both officially unveiled on the same day, October 1, 2019. The DF-17 has passed its flight tests all seven times it has been tested. While the DFZF has been tested and proven capable of reaching speeds between Mach 5 and Mach 10 as it maneuvers en route to take out a target up to 1500 miles away. Xing Kong 2 The Xing Kong 2 flies similarly to the DF-17. It is to be attached to a booster rocket that shoots it into Mach 5 plus speeds. The Xing Kong 2, however, comes with the bonus of being a wave rider, which gives the weapon a high maximum operational range of 6,200 miles. A wave rider is any flight vehicle that rides its own shock wave for greater lift, less drag, greater range, and an overall improved performance. The weapon had its first flight test on August 3, 2018. In this test, the Xing Kong 2 flew 98,000 feet into the sky, achieved speeds exceeding Mach 5.5, maneuvered, and reached its target, all in under 10 minutes. It was a complete success. And the successes only keep coming for China, from the Xing Kong 2 to the DF-17, and now the new engine developed by Professor Ma and his team. Like other world powers, the Chinese military is quite focused on hypersonic missile capability, but the only way for any of these countries to eventually figure it all out is by you subscribing to this channel and giving this video a like. So do that now, and thanks for watching.